Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woogie, and I'm back with more Paper Mario! Yo, what's going on? So, where we last left off, we talked to everyone, and now we're gonna go talk to Merlin, Marlon. I hope you liked the video, if you do, you can leave a like. I did not forget about Paper Mario, I was busy this week. <laughs> Which is why there was no episode till today. So let's go into it. Merlon is out. What? Oh no, Merlon is over here, isn't he? Yeah, 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 I remember now. Oh, what? Okay, so... Maybe if I bang the door... Why do you keep knocking? I'm telling you he's out! Oh. Like a light. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe? No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. So now we're inside the house. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard. Isn't that fucked up? When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What did I discover is very important and it concerns you. Before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I tried to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up in the Shooting Star Summit, as as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly a great appeared and I, standing face to face. Then the far away with the pious was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in, but our hearts were... And then, so... <laughs> and that is all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, were you listening to me? <laughs> oh, all right. So, anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventures, you can come to me. I can predict the patch you should take for a smaller price. Right now, your main goal is to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible, but... According to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Brothers. To reach the Koopa Brothers, fortress head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Come again? Strange toads belonging the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous! Such a thing is never heard of! Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Walk, 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 walk. This is the central area of Toad Town, the plaza in front of Princess Peach's castle. The pleasant path begins at the east of here. This is used as a bustling area before Bowser's attack. Guests at the castle were always in and out. And tourists came from all over to see the castle. The wizard Merlin also lives around here. Oh, okay, I thought you were going to give me something special about Merlot's house, but it's not. We already know that info. Alright, let's go fuck up these brothers. How dare they? I'm gonna save. In case something bad happens. Are these the strange toads that you were talking about? They sure do look- <laughs> I told you you can't pass. Take off. Hmm, you are toads, are you? Uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. I face off, I hold off, I reach out to the... Mm, just as I thought, you're the Koopa Brothers. How'd you, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green, we retreat for now. Mario, what the f- Those imposters were among us! None other than the Koopa Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Brothers, you'll need to help from a blue-shelled Koopa. 
This is a strange por portent in this is strange portent in Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear it up. You must return home now. Bye. Little shucks. I guess let's get going. Chapter one: Storming the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Ah shit! <laughs> I was no, damn it! I messed it up. Why did you fall, Mario? Koopa Trooper. This is the Koopa Trooper. Everybody knows Koopa Troopers. They're Bowser's followers. Max HP, full attack power one, defense power one. Their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, the defense power will fall to zero, and it'll become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with the power block or jump attack. Let's see four, huh? Watch. Ah, oh, damn it! My timing went off. Nice. All right, let's beat the shit out of this. Nice, nice, nice. Go, there we go. I was a little bit away from it, but now I'm solid as hell. Look at that! Perfect edge guard. Perfect. I'm basically Guilty Gearing it right now. I would play a Paper Mario Guilty Gear game featuring the cast of... <laughs> of uh, the, the one moment. To the west here is Totan, and to the east is Koopa Village. If we go even further east, we'll eventually reach Koopa Pro Fortress. What I'm saying is like Guilty Gear, but with Paper Mario art style and with the Paper Mario cast. Uh, I would love that. I think everyone would love that. Well, maybe not some people, maybe people who hate Paper Mario, but those people are valid in my eyes, so... Man, I would love it. You'd have- you could choose from all the games, but you'd obviously choose the first two the most because those are the ones with the most characters in them. But apparently the new one has some pretty good stuff in it. I haven't played it yet, just haven't had the time to actually get it. So let's go here. Go here. There we go, first strike. What would be, like, the Guilty Gear thing that would say, like, heaven or hell? Paper or plastic? Round one? <laughs> Actually, they should keep the announcer from Guilty Gear, who's super serious all the time. Mario did not know. The beast within. Dizzy attack. Alright, let me see. Badges. Can I put it on? No. There was a blow that makes him enemy dizzy and unable to move. Don't need it right now, anyway. Moving forward. We gotta go get that triple Koopa bro. Fright jar. Fart jar. Sorry, that's a reference to Despicable Me and the way Gru speaks. Oh god! I was, I was hitting the wrong button. That's what happened there. And so Mario got got in that instance. Look at his little hand wiggle, by the way. The Koopa, <laughs> the Koopas in this game really do get kind of short shrift for basically being able to be stopped by such an easy tactic of jumping on them. Go here. Ugh. And they go away. Forever dead. Ah, oh, damn it! No. Okay. Perfect. And wait. Bonk. Yeah, thumbs up. I love that he gives a thumbs up every single time. Mario's just so happy with himself. <laughs> oh, it's more like going to you. He's like telling you, good job, man. This is what I need in my life. This is Paper Mario validation for everything I do. Boom. Take that, punk. Oh man, what are you gonna do, my dude? Nothing, right? Yeah, you're basically useless against these guys. Yeah, do nothing. Well, Mario, I've done my best. I, it, it, you know, when growing up, they said you could have a spike on your head or a blue hat, and I picked the blue hat. I thank you very much for not <laughs> driving me head first into them though. A lesser man would have. I thought about it. They don't take damage in this game. So you can damage them all you want. 
go here, so of course I can't. You got him here, buddy. I didn't even need the second. I wonder how Goomba Wars would look like with everyone knowing that their main... Uh, not defense, their main, main way of beating them is just hitting them in the head. So when two Goombas fight, it's just a non-stop headbutt city. It's a good-ass jingle. Alright, let's roll! Sleepy sheep. Shit! Hmm. I need to get this guy. Oh, I don't need to. Wah! Boom, dead. Out of my sight, fool. This should work out. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna start with you. Yeah, there we go. You go for the easy kill. Boom. Okay, and... Still taking some damage from that, for sure. I love this real-time action. I think this is my favorite form of real-time action, too. I've never been able to get into the actual, like, Final Fantasy XV style, where it's, like, always on. Because at that point, I feel like I should just actually play an action game. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a much better experience for me. Let's go here. But to be fair, I've never played one for very long, so maybe that's actually the... What? What the fuck? No, mine! Th I've never known this. <laughs> I've played this game for so many years and I never realized you could do this. I don't really see the benefit other than you get infinite hearts. That's pretty cool. Honey syrup. Alright, I think Toad Town's this way. So we'll go here. If I remember right, there's something like right here. Bonk. It's like right. I feel like it was right here. There it is. Attack effects, but oh, I know this one. It makes like a silly sound, I think. There we go. <laughs> we Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really. Uh, we're, uh, we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? It's Alice, the Madness Returns on Xbox 360, and everyone is very disappointed. But some of us appreciate it for its art style and it, artistic vision, really, it should have... This village is in uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm aware, uh, you know, to get, get touch fuzzy, get dizzy. My uh, mama dinosaur that raised me was uh, super into the fuzzies, constantly touching it. It broke our family apart. What are we talking about? Oh. <laughs> Aww. No, no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell. No, give it back. Give it back, fucker. Hey. Whoop. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I can't walk around without a shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from the fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. It's Koopa Village, but big surprise, Koopas live here. Similar to Goomba Village, except for with Koopas, is what I'm trying to say here. Recently, he has sent us some bob bomb bomb bombs bob bombs. I'm Sex Bob Bomb. We're gonna go with bob bomb. Sex Bob Bomb have moved here too. They just ain't run around from the fortress, huh? The the fuzzy song is amazing. You gotta help these Koopas, man. I'll be damned if I'm not helping you. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Get over here, you fucker. Whoop! You can't run from me forever, bitch. I will catch you. And I will kill you. Get back here, you fuzzy fucks. There we go. One dealt with. Get over here. 
Whoop! There we go. Let's help this Koopa brother out. Yeah! Thanks, Mario! This shell was made to order, that's why it fits me so well. I Wait, weren't you fucking born with it? I mean, how cool do I look? Aren't turtles born with shells? Wait a minute, I just realized I don't know how that works. Aren't turtles born with shells? Or do they grow shells? Actually, how does, how does a shell form inside the egg? I've never actually stopped to think about this. And now that I'm actually thinking about it, I feel crazy. It's Koopa Village, big spra- Oh, damn it. He already said this. What do you guys say about this toad? He's a toad house employee. He was sent here for Prince Peach's castle. He runs this toad house. He looks kind of bored. Really? You look fine to me, Mario. Are you sure you want a nap? Not now. Please come again? Fucking gonna judge me on my goddamn naps? Koopa Trooper from the city of Koopa Village. He's like the welcome wagon. He seems to be a pretty jolly Koopa Trooper. Just look at his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that face. That's a face of a man who's uh, pleased with himself, Mario. Is it all my imagination or did the Koopa Trooper used to walk around on four legs? I guess that was a really long time ago. <laughs> hey! That's <laughs> that's cool. This is a reference to when they used to walk around in the original Mario Brothers. Koopa Troopers sunbathe in their shells when it's super when it's sunny out. Supposedly, a lot of the Koopa Troopers set trains and are totally fashionable. I guess they have different tastes from mine. You know, I'm just all about no pants, no shirt, only hat. You know what I'm saying, Mario? You ever feel that? You ever just worn a hat and nothing else? He's a Koopa Trooper merchant. He sells goods. He also checks and buys stuff. Might want to buy some stuff from him if we're going to somewhere dangerous. No, I'm good, bro. I just wanted to see what kind of info you had on him. Let's go in here. <laughs> this guy does not give a shit about what's going outside. Supposedly, these bombs recently ran away from the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Of course, things aren't uh, much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bombs. Huh? Me? I'll leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. I'd probably take my shell and play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. You must listen. The Cooper brothers in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. I will ne It's all about workers' rights. Comrade Mario, I will never be back to work in such a terrible place. He's bomb -omb. He's from inside the walls of Cooper brothers' fortress. Even if he explodes, he'll be fine as long as you stay a good distance away. You never know when these bomb -omb's might go off. This Koopa Troop obviously loves the radio. He always listens to it. Seems to prefer music in the news reports. Who wouldn't? I like music too. How about you, Mario? Fan of the rap? He's a bomb Oh, okay. I think this is... Now we lose it with the Koopa Troopers. He sometimes blows up at very inappropriate times. Not that it's just such a big deal, but somebody might get mad. Okay, let me see. We are the bomb -omb's. We just ran away from Koopa Brothers Fortress. We thought that you'd at least find some peace here in Village. Boy, were we wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is little peace. Is it so hard to ask? I don't know. I'm, I'm with you, bros. Fuzzy! Get your ass back here. What the fuck is going on in that house? Nothing good, it looks like. Hmm. You guys, none. I'm gonna help you, brother. Come on. Touch Fuzzy, get dizzy. Touch Fuzzy, get busy. Oh god. I, the fucking hammer noise every single time. Come on. Oh wait, I realize he's gonna move on forward, so I gotta just be the opposite of where the coop is going. Oh, come on. That fuzzy took my shell! I ran after it, but he just laughed and taunted me. Oh, 
feel like maybe if I get the other... You fuzzes won't be me. Behold my power. Ugh. Ooh, what was that? Super was the power, wasn't it? Oh, so that explains what he doesn't have. Push. Help him. I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. Why didn't I fucking think of that? I put a high-tech lock on my shell so the fuzzy can't take it. They'll never manage to pry it off me now. Haha! -ha. Not sure if I can even get it off, to be honest. Good going, buddy. Whoop! Kill that guy. Let's see what's going on here. This is the oldest Koopa in Koopa Village. His name is Koopa Koop. He's famous for being selfish, stingy, and impatient. He doesn't ask for things that are impossible. You can bet the task will be hard and time consuming. What's the world coming to when a Koopa can't even step outside for fear of fuzzies? I've lived along many years. I'm first trying to see anything like this. Oh my god. That's my uh, terrible Godfather 1, <laughs> Marlon Brando. <laughs> Lady Koopa. She's the wife of Colorado, who's an ever archaeologist and explorer. She's always worries about him. You. Oh, my bad. You know, I like adventure too. I can totally see my future wife being like that, always worried about brave Gumbario. My wife. These fuzzies, will their mischief never end? My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. You know, as your little friend just told you. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if it's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. Damn fool. Yeah. Alright. Sorry about your husband. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wow fuzzy. This wow fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell. Period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. If you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzies that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like whoop. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Meow. We better be careful, there are supposed to be a lot of fuzzies around this area. Usually they stay hidden, but uh, lately they're more aggressive. I almost turned into the guy from fucking Pet Cemetery. <laughs> the, better not go to that uh, abandoned Pet Cemetery. Ah oh, shit, it's the fucking fuzz. Okay, tattle. This is a fuzzy. Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. Problem with fuzzies is their quickness. They're really tough to time their attacks. If they can latch onto you, watch out, they'll absorb your HP. So they only have three, okay. Damn it. I didn't get it right. There we go. Confirm the kill, Mario. Weep. At some point, I need to take off that FX. <laughs> I don't know if I can deal with, with it here the entire time. Suck. Damn it. Got him. Weep. Okay, no, that's the way. Come on. Hmm. Meow. Meow. Come and get the cat. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Guess where I'm hiding? 
Meow, 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 meow. Meow, not bad, chump. But that was just a warm up. Meow. Meow. Where I guess where I'm hiding. Meow, 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 meow. 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 York, meow. You got me twice? Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Meow! Guess where I'm hiding? Meow. Not meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> meow, no! I give, Uncle. Here, take the stupid shell. Yeah, you got Cooper shell. They're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. Ooh, what a dick. Anything else in the trees? This part of the forest is the fuzzies' main stronghold. The wood could actually be quite beautiful if not for the fuzzies. The light's nice. Do you think poopas do the logging around here? Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. I can't- I just realized what voice I'm doing. I'm doing the Adachi, yeah, bitch voice. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. This makes- <laughs> this makes Cooper feel like kind of a fucking sociopath, if I'm being honest. We already got the shell back. Oh. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is my shell, alright. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, got my shell back, uh-huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy, uh, uh fucking thing. I don't know, it's kinda creeping me out. Say, Mario! I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? That bitch! Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of a professor of arch- You can tell by the fucking name if I'm being honest, Mario. That's a dumb thing for you to say. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think I could... Could I... Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Take. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. I swear, I, Cooper, follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. Cooper joined your party. Press down to make him throw himself to switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack the enemies with ground pound shell toss, attack all enemies on the field with a power shell. If you want to switch your partners, press the other button. Wee! Meow! I changed my mind, sucker! How about a fight? Damn. Alright. I got these bastards. She fucking got them, bro. Now I'm just gonna use an item at this point. When am I ever gonna use the firepower again? <laughs> Even though I think it was technically a waste what I just did, I don't care. Burn, baby, burn! Wow! We'll be good, we'll be good! I gotta... Cooper, we gotta work on your voice. What do you mean? Kinda sound like, uh. like you're a murderer. I would never! I'll figure out something with Cooper's voice. Maybe I could do actual dodgy. Let me, let me try something else real quick. Huh! No, I can, the thing is, is I can't sound like Johnny Youngbosh because me trying to do Johnny Youngbosh would just be, I think, slightly more deep me. Whatever, I'll try it. It's more of an inflection, like Ichigo or something. 
this guy still getting chased by the fuzzy? No, I got it. We got shit back. Fuzzies are gone now. Woo! Tell the truth, though, I was a bit boring around there now. We can get this now. Yeah! <laughs> I love his. Yeah! Come on. Star piece. Like, his little jump is so good that that's the reason I don't want to give him the Adachi voice. Well, you know, I'll figure out a new voice for you, Cooper. Maybe I can just make him, like, the, uh... You know, like, the, yeah, man! Not Jamaican. That'd be dumb. Uh... The, the like, the Keanu style. You know what, I'll, you know, I'll fucking think about it. We'll find a voice for you yet, Cooper. Thanks, man. For now, Cooper, you're gonna have my voice. Appreciate it kindly. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some health back. I already had all my health. I need FP. Isn't there something over here I could use Cooper with? There was not. Okay. Go back. Oh shit! Watch out, man! It's one of me! Weep! Easy. Oh god. Down here. Yeah, I think Cooper will just have my my voice. My regular voice. Someone could have the Adachi voice later. There we go. That way there's someone that just always has my voice on the team. Cause Mario's got the Italian accent down pat. Okay, let's go here. Oh, that's where we would. Wee! Thunderbolt! Shit, stop doing that. That's what I want. Try- no, no, please don't tell me- ah, god damn it. Watch me. Watch me get him, Mario. Boom! You're paying to your dividends, my man. You should probably read the sign. No entry allowed. Yours truly, the Cooper Brothers. Oh, I need to like, bring out what's his nuts for this. No? There we go. You! Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. Damn it! You couldn't be used here anyway. This is a paratrooper, no surprise here. Paratroopers are cook troopers with wings. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. When you jump on them, use a power block, or their wings fall off, they are become normal troopers. It's easy to beat them once you're normal cooper troopers. Give them another jump attack. I think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses, but they're not that tough. We are cool though, because we wear sunglasses. Ow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just realized they do a little confetti too. Oh really? It only registers one, so I just remember that for next time then. There's no reason to waste my time with multiple attempts at it. Damn it. I'm gonna need to get better at hitting the A button, but for now, just not the greatest at it. Go here. 
Oh shit. Damn it, I thought I got him. Nope. I guess I'm getting better at defending. What the hell the like do these little dudes think they are laughing at me? Dead. Taken down. Now there's only one to deal with. I will give it to Cooper. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks, man. Oh god. I gotta avoid him for now. Fully heal. And we made it to the Goop Brothers Fortress, but that's where the this episode's ending for today. Thank you everyone for joining me for another installment of Paper Mario as I continue to make my way through the game. Oh shit. Whoa! Mario! What the? Ah, oh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here! Oh man, I gotta tell the leader, Red Koopa! That's a teaser for later on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end it for here, and then next episode I should hopefully deal with the Koopa Brothers. That'll be the end of Chapter 1, I think. And we'll maybe get another buddy to the team, too. Whack! Whack! They're a maniac. But yeah, thank you very much. Till next time in the next adventure. Peace out, everyone.